Good day guys, I am Sir Mil and this is my vlog which will be all about how to develop a good research. Those students in senior high school who are having a hard time developing their research. Today, we will be discussing the difference of quantitative versus qualitative research. Uh, bef before that, let me also define para sa akin what is research and based on the learnings that I also learned from the different resources that I've read so far, uh, there's a phrase kung gusto nating kung gusto nating i-define kung anong ibig sabihin ng research. Ang madali lang tandaan, kinakailangan lang natin tandaan yung phrase na systematic investigation. Okay? So, kapag sinabi nating research, this is a systematic investigation that leads to generation of new conclusion. Note yung new conclusion kasi kinakailangan kapag sinabi nating research, especially for research paper for senior high school, even for uh, different researches done to higher education, kinakailangan kasi bago. That's why it should be new. Okay, so now let us begin differentiating yung quantitative at qualitative. So, Let us go to the general framework o yung kabuuang kaibahan ng quantitative to that of qualitative. But first, in general, just have to remember that when we say quantitative, ito yung tungkol sa pag-a-analyze ng mga numbers. Okay? We see numbers, we analyze kung anong ibig sabihin natin. However, kapag sinabi natin qualitative, ibig sabihin, we are to interpret information. We are to interpret words. The key word would be about interpreting words. Okay? So, yun yung quantitative at qualitative as a whole. Okay, so, in particular, in general framework ng quantitative, when it comes to general framework ng quantitative, yung pinaka general framework niya is the researcher in this type of research is seeking to confirm a hypothesis in a certain phenomenon or meaning in a certain situation. So, ibig sabihin, in Tagalog, that ang yung researcher, kinoconfirm niya kung yung isabang haka-haka ay totoo o hindi. So, uh, the researcher in this particular type of research, gumagawa siya ng paraan to know the truth. Okay? To know the, or to prove whether the hypothesis is true or hindi. On the other hand, yung qualitative, seek to explore phenomenon. Ibig sabihin, yung ginagawa niya ay describe niya kung ano yung sitwasyon na nakikita niya, yung naririnig niya, at base sa mga informasyon na nakukuha niya. And another thing, Uh, when creating question for quanti quantitative and qualitative, yung question format ng quantitative, madalas, should be close-ended question. Anong ibig sabihin kapag sinabing close-ended question? Meaning, the choices are already given. Okay? Uh, the survey, of course, is to check na lang. For example, ganun, yung survey questionnaires or the questionnaires, simply questionnaires, yung sagot ng mga mag-answers meron na siyang pagpipilian. That is close-ended questions. Multiple choice, for example, is as, as an example of close-ended questions. On the other hand, kapag sinabi natin qualitative, open-ended siya. Na meaning, kahit gumawa ka ng isang semi-structured question, yung pagsagot ng pagsagot ng ini-interview, he or she will have a freedom kung paano niya sasagutan yung uh, talagang kapag sinabi natin qualitative research, yung framework niya naman when it comes to instruments are more flexible. So, maari siyang magbago-bago. Okay? Based na rin sa kung anong uh, sinasabi ng mga ini-interview. And the last thing when it comes to general framework is that uh, 
Ang quantitative use highly structured methods such as questionnaires, surveys, and structured observations. So, ibig sabihin, lahat na sa simula pa lamang yung quantitative research, meron na siyang nakahandang method, may nakahanda na siyang questionnaire, may nakahanda na siyang isusurvey, at may nakahanda na din siyang uh, target sa kung anong uobserbahan niya. On the other hand, yung qualitative is napakalaking uh, contrast. Kasi, semi-structured siya, meaning, uh, it could change yung mga hinanda mo sa una, una yung hinanda mo mga question for the interview since uh, as I know hindi pwedeng gumawa ng survey questionnaire for qualitative but only uh, researchers for qualitative are only allowed to prepare questions for an interview or focus group discussion okay general Everything about quantitative is basically to reduce information to number according to Chris Well. And however, in qualitative, this is to examine issues in depth that may yield a clearer understanding. Okay, that would be all guys. If you like this vlog, please like and subscribe and comment down below kung meron kayong uh, gustong itanong and kung ano yung pinaka- Mahirap na part sa paggawa ng research.